if a man wants to frolic in a field, you let him frolic. Welcome back to the channel. Jesse Prince Jr. here, or you know me as Cinematic Jesse. I appreciate every single one of you. Me and Chewy, we just want to give our love to you. We're very excited. We're very happy that, you know, we've reached this um, feat because of you. And there's a lot of, a lot of support out there. And uh, I'm just very humbled. I'm excited. And I'm excited to uh, do this reaction today. And uh, we'll get to that here in a second. But I just want to give a shout out to a lot of you who reached out. Um, you told me in the comments, uh, you gave me a roadmap to Ren, whether it was Ren, Tom McDonald, or Dax, or anyone like that. Uh, I've got some falling in reverse coming up, so I haven't done that one in a while. I've only done one. But I really want to say how appreciative I am of you. Me and Chewy thank you a lot, as you can see in a past video or the last um, a couple seconds ago, you saw us frolicking in the field <laughs> to show you our gratitude. I'm just very excited. So those of you that don't know me that are new here, my name is Jesse Prince Jr. I'm a cinematographer out of Texas, and I've been doing cinematography, videography, uh, some films here and there, short films music videos, uh, weddings, stuff like that, portrait videos of models. And that's a little bit of background about me. And, you know, without going too much into that, that's who I am. That's what I do. And now I do reaction videos as well on the side. And so now here we are. So today is a special one because a lot of you reached out. You asked me constantly to do Ren and I did, um, I did a reaction video, Hi Ren, and it just blew up with just so much love in the comments section for Ren and his community. Shout out to every single one of you, and not just you guys, but everybody else that's shown support, uh, giving me a roadmap to either Dax, Fallen in Reverse, which I've got coming up, NF, Tom McDonald, he's one of them, Ben Shapiro, <laughs> Dr. Dreidel. So today we're going to be reacting to none other than Ren, The Tale of Jenny and Screech, along with Violet, the trilogy. Let's get into the video. This just warms my heart. 
I'm so thankful that you guys introduced me to Ren. Um, you're probably going to hear me say that about a thousand times, but seriously, the types of music that I enjoy listening to and watching are just, most people would be like, nah, he doesn't listen to stuff like, no, this is like, I don't know what it is with Ren. It just, the instrumentals, the, his voice, the way he's very versatile, you know, the other things that you've told me about him, which I cannot wait to get to. Anyways, yeah. And just looking at this, I'm, I'm already digging how they shot it. I'm already loving it. <clears throat> it was a quiet, dark night in the empty street somewhere at London City. Jenny walked alone, she was dragging her feet. She was heading back home to sleep. Well, she knew this town, she knew this floor because she walked it about a thousand times before she wanted to escape. Can you blame? The continuous shots. I'll go back a couple of seconds. I know a lot of you <laughs> reached out and said, go back five, ten seconds. I'll do that. But I just want to say I'm already digging the continuous shots. The videographer did an amazing job, of course. And, uh, of course, Ren, he's, he's killing it. Let me go back. Go back just a couple of seconds. Bear with me. She knew this floor because she walked it about a thousand times before she wanted to escape. Can you blame? Well, on the very same night in a different place, there was this hooded young youth by the name of James. He was 14 years old and out of his brain, he'd been smoking ganja with the boys. James, he grew up to be a kid of the street. His mates called him Screech, he was quick on his feet. He was a liar, a thief. At 14 years old, the devil had set his sights on his soul. As Jenny walked home all alone, she felt scared. Usually she was alright, but it was like there was something in the air. A divine intervention telling her to beware, maybe intuition bogging her and making her so scared. Oh. Siren sounded in the distance at the beat of Jenny's feet. A symphony of the night that echoes crime on London streets. Jenny turns a corner, their eyes they meet. Our poor girl Jenny, a boy named Screech. Give me all your money, bitch, give it to me. If you cooperate, then you'll soon be free. I want your purse, your phone, don't fucking look at me. I mean it. Bitch, are you listening to me? Jenny freezes statue like a lady shakes stalactite Fear like liquid nitrogen in the dark night She tried to find strength to move But stayed as still as a statue in high-heeled shoes What the hell are you playing now? You playing games with me? I gotta go back I gotta go back Bear with me That was intense Oh, that Echoed was intense. crime on London streets. Jenny turns a corner, their eyes they meet. Our poor girl Jenny, a boy named Screech. Give me all your money, bitch, give it to me. If you cooperate, then you'll soon be free. I want your purse, your phone, don't fucking look at me. I mean it, bitch, are you listening to me? Jenny freezes statue like a lady shakes stalactite Fear like liquid nitrogen in the dark night She tried to find strength to move But stayed as still as a statue in high-heeled shoes What the hell are you playing at? You playing games with me? I swear to fucking God I'll slice the rosy off your cheeks You think I don't mean it, girl? You don't know me? The last thing you see will be a boy called Screech reach with the sheep that the blade with the teeth that could bite through steel and slice concrete and he swung possessed with the devil in his chest and the statue she was turned to butter in her breath. It was a quiet dark night in an empty street somewhere at London City. Jenny lay still on the cold concrete. She's far out somewhere to sleep. Holy crap. My heart is like racing. I'm listening to, you know, the lyrics and the way he's able, the expression, the animation from him, the, not going to lie, like when he was looking at me or looking at us, when he said what he said, it, <laughs> um, yeah, that caught me off guard in the best way possible. Just, and I'm loving this continuous. I'm just a hugest fan of continuous shots. And I know a lot of you reached out and you said, yeah, he does continuous live. T I mean, this is awesome. Uh, I don't see a lot of um, 
I know, I know there's artists out there that do this, but I haven't seen a lot of them do this that do continuous, uh, you know, takes like this other than like NF and, um, I think Dax did a couple of them. I don't know. I have to go back. But yeah, I'm I'm just blown away. I'll go back a couple of seconds because I'm trying to hear everything that he's saying. And and I know you guys wanted me to, you know, just check out every single detail. And that's what I'm doing. I promise that's what I'm doing. Breath. It was a quiet, dark night in an empty street somewhere at Nanta City. Jenny lay still on the cold concrete She's found somewhere to sleep Well, she knew this town, she knew this floor Cause she'd walked it about a thousand times before I guess that she escaped It's such a shame <sighs> That's... Ren, that's awesome, man God, you got some talent, sir. You have got some talent. Let me hear that again. Let me hear that voice again. I'm, that's just... I love it, man. Well, she knew this town. She knew this floor. Because she'd walked it about a thousand times before. I guess that she escaped. It's such a shame. That was uh, Jenny, and I believe we're on Screech right now. <sighs> I see why you guys recommended uh, the trilogy. <sighs> I'm just blown away right now. My, uh, I got chills from that. To me, real quick, it it's giving me like um, like Kill Bill vibes, very cinematic, and I think that's why I'm I'm enjoying Ren so much. It's just everything that he's you know he's portraying is cinematic, not only just in his his music videos, but I'm starting to see that with his music. Go back. That strum. Beautiful. That's what his name was. I got to hear that again. That is like. Ren, can I use this song on one of my films? I'm seriously asking. I would really want to collab with you. I love this, man. <laughs> Guys, I know y'all told me. I know y'all warned me, but damn. Damn, this man is talented. Our story, it starts right at the end of the life of poor Jenny. Clocked out like Big Ben. This screech, dear boy, where did he go? He melted in. To the black night just like snow. Pa 
Patrick, man. Let me in, please open the door. I think I fucked up Patrick, really fucked up, man. I'm not sure. I got crazy, left this lady lying still on the floor. I think I killed her, Patrick. Come on, man, I can't knock no more. But Screech kept on knocking till his knuckles became sore But there's no sign of Patrick down at number 54 No refuge for our villain for the bitter hands of fate With something far more sinister in mind that does away Hey babe, you in? Now nothing really, I'm just a bit tired, listen. Can I swing around yours for a few moments? I just really miss you, babe. What the fuck do you mean you're busy? You fucking bitch! For fuck's sakes! Okay. I'm... This is like a whole new way of like shooting and... I'm gonna be honest, like I've watched thousands of music videos and and you know i've shot some myself not that many but the way that samuel and ren have put this together it's like a dance that just these guys just they mesh so well and you know the i gotta go back I'm digging that. I love the continuous shooting. And then now like that crazy story that's unfolding. There's no sign of Patrick down at number 54. No refuge for our villain for the bitter hands of fate. With something far more sinister in mind that does away. Hey babe, are you in? Now nothing really, I'm just a bit tired, listen. Can I swing around yours for a few moments? I just really miss you babe. What the fuck do you mean you're busy? You fucking bitch, for fuck's sakes! Siren sounds approaching like a banshee in the night. The shrill cry of justice cutting like the sharpest knife. But Screech was never one to run, not one to miss a fight. One hand upon his blade, he turned to face the blue lights. Come on then, you fucking cunts, let's fucking have you then. I am Screech, I'm the boss, I'm the ender of men. You think that uniform you're wearing means that you own these streets? These are my fucking streets, and they call me fucking Screech. Richard was an officer who stood at six foot three. Working London on the night shift, what he didn't think he'd see. Was a boy running at him like an animal possessed. With no time to hesitate, he fired four bullets at Screech's chest. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was freaking awesome. Ah. Oh. Story it ends right at the start. Young Screech and poor Jenny lying one street apart. An officer shaken by the boy that he claimed. Two bodies lay lifeless, and it's such a shame. It's such a shame. Ah, wow. uh, I gotta, I gotta go back. I gotta watch that again. What a way to use the camera. As he delivers that last line. His chest. Oh, I don't know. I don't know why. I just love that so much, man. I've never. I mean, I'm trying to think back where I've, I've actually witnessed somebody use the camera in such a way, in such a manner.
other than like films, I can't really say like on music videos. Ah, story it ends right to the star. Young Screech and poor Jenny lying one street apart. An officer shaken by the boy that he claimed. Two bodies lay lifeless. And it's such a shame It's such a shame Man, you guys were right. You told me that the tale of Screech or tale of Jenny and Screech was going to blow my mind. And uh, you're absolutely right. <laughs> my mind is just blown away. And uh, yeah, let's let's get into the last one. This is uh, Violet. I'll give you my my little two cents of what I can from what I can remember about the videos at the end. So, yeah. Violet's Tale. So he's in that gown from when I saw him in High Ren. But uh, other than that, Okay, uh, yeah. Whew, yeah. That's, um, that deserves to be played back. I'm sorry, but you're going to listen to that with me again. Paddington is fighting just to stay alive Rhythmic beeps and bloodstains She's our lady weep, she's tired and frail To set the scene we must rewind The hands of time for Violet's tale Anybody else not breathing right now uh, when you watch this like the first time? Is that how you felt? Because 
if I'm being perfectly honest, that's I it's like when I'm watching film sometimes, you know, as a cinematographer or filmmaker, um, you know, sometimes I can't sit here and like watch a film and like concentrate because I want to know what lenses that they're using, the lighting setups and just all kinds of things are running through my mind. But when I am able to relax and just enjoy the ride and just feels like I'm out of breath. That's like the best way for me to explain it. I feel like I'm out of breath. His voice, the tone is just haunting. It's beautiful. You know, the setup that they have. I mean, I know it's, you know, it's him on a hospital bed. He's playing his acoustic guitar and he's freaking killing it. But hearing his voice with that is just haunting, haunting. Seriously, Ren, um, I have a paranormal thriller coming up, and this would be perfect. Not to take away from your, you know, the video or anything like that. Just real quick, Ren, if you see this, give me a holler, man. It's beautiful. Real quick, you can see the the bed at the uh, foot of it, bed three, Violet. London City, far from pretty, 2005. A lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive. Rhythmic beeps and blood stains, she saw a lady weep, she's tired and frail. To set the scene, we must rewind the hands of time for Violet's tale. Silent girl grew up with violent starts Her mother was a drinker and her father was a bastard Every night he took a tie but never left the room I'll spare you with the things he did, I'm sure her mother knew Violet was a silent girl, she moved out at 16 A semi-detached council flat, paid for by a welfare scheme Packing shelves at Tesco, stacking jars like pickled bricks She met a boy named Stevie and he was a little prick Violet was a silent girl and Violet she fell fast See Stevie was a wrong and but he sure knew how to charm her Every night he took a tie but never left the room History repeats itself, he'd paint her black and blue and dark Why are you always so quiet? On her bedroom door and he's irate. He's been drinking and smoking, he's up late. And he stands by her bedside, she shakes. But her eyes stay shut. You fucking slut, I know you're up. And he pinches her eyelids and folds them up. Violet, why are you lying to me, Violet? She stays silent, things turn violent. That's the sound of his fists when they fall like a crashing pilot. 
hit like hailstones One to the collarbone, full force, full blown Blood splat, bone crack, knick knack, paddy whack One to the jaw and the tooth spat Detach, fist connects and disconnects a bone A quick deflect to misdirect the blow But nonetheless his punches met her throat Such a mess he's left her bruised and broke Violet, why you always so silent, Violet? Why you such a little liar, Violet? Do you think I wanna do this, Violet? In character, she stays silent. Well, say something, Violet. Silence. Fucking say something, Violet. Silence. Wait. Say something, Violet. Not one word. She stays quiet. London City, far from pretty, 2005 A lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive The doctor, in a state of shock, saw something here so very wrong See Violet, she was pregnant, poor Violet, she was nine months gone Turning to the doctor, Violet broke her silence and she cried If I'm to die right here tonight, please let my baby stay alive The doctor soon regained composure Called the surgeon to come in As Violet's world turned to black The curtains closed, the lights went dim In London City, far from pretty 2005 A lady down in Paddington just lost the fight to stay alive A tragedy or a miracle It happened on these very streets Two twins aligned side by side A girl named Jenny And a boy named Screech This man switched it up, I don't know how many times, and the continuous shots just blew my freaking mind. I mean, that in itself is like, I know a lot of you out there would probably think that, oh yeah, that's not hard to get a content. yes, I mean, to be out there guerrilla shooting in the elements and then going indoors, indoors, outdoors, the lighting setups or lack thereof, you know, cause they shot just guerrilla style and the way that he changed up each time that he was telling the story, that acoustic guitar was just, oh my goodness. My hat. <laughs> oh man, that was amazing, Ren. Seriously, my hats off to you and Samuel, and whoever else was assisting in production and just putting this together, and the way that you told the story. Let me go back. I gotta hear the ending part. Silence and she cried If I'm to die right here tonight Please let my baby stay alive The doctor soon regained composure Called the surgeon to come in As Violet's world turned to black The curtains closed, the lights went dim In London City, far from pretty 2005 A lady down in Paddington Just lost the fight to stay alive A tragedy or a miracle it happened on these very streets two twins aligned side by side a girl named jenny and a boy named screech this is like watching live theater mixed with cinema 
cinematography, cinematics, and just the one continuous shot all the way outside. I mean, other than that, I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm seriously blown away right now. But that's what I gather about the story is that, you know, obviously they're all connected because of Violet was the mother. Um, I'm going to have to seriously go back and, and watch this. Even tonight, <laughs> I really need to go back and I need to watch and look at more of the details and just pay attention more to the, I tried my best, but even then I'm still, you know, you guys tell me that Ren, he's, he's an amazing storyteller and I can see that now. I can see that him and Samuel, they just, they put together these masterpieces and of storytelling mixed with cinematography, theater, cinema, just all kinds of things. You know, also, too, I let the video go on because I didn't want to miss anything. And I felt like there was no time. There was no room for pausing. But when you watch something so epic for the first time. It just it just takes you off guard. And I and I know for a fact this one took me off guard. And I'm so glad that you guys told me to watch it in this order and now i see why it's freaking beautiful man i loved it <laughs> i loved every single thing about this video and i know i said that like last time with high ren this one is just even with the cues with his acoustic guitar i think he even like used it to tell um Kind of like a, how am I, what am I trying to say? He used the acoustic guitar as part of like storytelling. You know, like when you fast forward, like, or uh, a character is saying something very intense or, or sometimes they're not saying nothing at all. That's what I heard. That's what I gathered. And. I'm just blown away, guys. Let me go ahead and smash that like button. The storytelling, the... I'm going to have to watch this. Like, even tonight, I'm going to watch this when I'm going to bed probably like two or three times just to even grasp what I just watched. Holy crap. You know, and on top of that, like if you look and you see how, you know, he's he's using his environment and the way that they're continuously shooting this like live. I just don't see that. I'm sorry. I don't I guess I've, I'm under a rock, but I don't see that. In any of the music videos nowadays i you just don't see that and it really just captivates me at just how brilliant ren and his team are they're brilliant geniuses <laughs> if i was to work with anybody in this century i would want to work with you ren seriously much love and respect from Texas, brother. Much love. That's going to do it for the video. Come to the end. You've, you've heard what I've had to say about it. I loved every single second of it. And I look forward to reacting to more of Ren. Ren, keep doing what you're doing. I hope you're well, my friend. I don't even know you. And uh, but you got a huge fan base, brother. I mean, you've gained me as a fan, as a huge fan now. And uh, I wish you all the best, brother. I wish you nothing but good health. 
your fans, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much again for bringing me down the Rin rabbit hole. Man, my mind is just blown right now. Thank you again for watching. Hope to see you all on the next one. I've got some more Rin coming up along with Falling in Reverse. Um, Dax, some Tom McDonald, and uh, more NF like later on. But seriously, thank you all for supporting me. Um, I think we're a little over uh, 2,600 subscribers right now, which is insane. You guys are insane. Me and Chewy really enjoy it. We, we appreciate you. And we hope to see you on the next one. Take care. God bless. Stay up. Stay gold. See you in the next one.